Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today I am in Austin, Texas, and let me tell you, I have quite an interview for you. We're going to be talking to the CEO of Arc Dynamics, Lewis, and again, we're in Austin. Yesterday, I was able to see the simulator at his workshop, and I was able to experience it myself. We're going to be talking a whole lot about that and more, but first, just to get us kicked off, when did you know that this could be a business, like an actual business that was worth pursuing? Because of the enhancement, Mm. right? You're, You're enhancing gaming. Mm. In any way, you want to say it, you're enhancing gaming. Right? Yeah. You, so that was huge. And then the price point. Mm. The fact that I, I could see from very early on that yeah. we could reach a what I would consider at the time mm-hmm. uh, affordable price point. And the way I worked that was just looking at gaming peripherals, mm. right? A steering, a, a top of the range steering wheels, like $2,000, $2,700, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you combine that with the actual wheel, that's yeah. just the motor base. The wheel's another like $200, $300. And then the pedals could be like $500. So you're mm-hmm. looking, I just looked at all of that, right? Yeah. And I just said, right, then the gaming PC, and then you're, mm-hmm. and you've got your graphics cards and stuff like that. And I, you know, I set a point in my mind that I said, if we can get to this point cost mm-hmm. of manufacturing, then we're good. Yeah. And it would translate to to what I'm trying to do now, which is, is go direct to market. So mm-hmm. the three and a half thousand price point is solely for early adopters, people who we want to sign on mm-hmm. and that'll help us develop in any way. It's yeah. not about being technical, it's about understanding where this can go. There's biohacking, there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a whole range. But mm-hmm. gaming was an obvious one mm-hmm. because it's the easiest one to show people mm-hmm. And we've done that, I believe, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I'm not going to go into yeah. ages, but my, you know, I have a 21-year-old son, mm-hmm. and my wife, who's yeah. been with me all along, she's in some cases top 50, top 10 in the world, mm. online racing. Wow. And that was built up over time, right? So like the gaming, so, talk to me about the numbers in that industry. The, and I'm, what not, you I'm not even going to begin to give you, I mean, it's in the, bill, it's in the tens of billions for sure. Yeah. Uh, and it all depends on how you look at it. Because, yeah. you know, when you, when you start looking at simulator, mm-hmm. it's one thing. Because simulator and simulator gaming yeah. can, incru- can include airplanes as well, right? Mm-hmm. So, and that's huge. It's a big, Absolutely. it's actually... I think still today, technically, I think it's a bigger market than the... Yeah, uh, for sure. So airplane, because there's a lot of people who like doing private pilot, private pilot mm-hmm. license and they need to do... Uh, they need the hours. So, they, so it's forced. Exactly. Yeah. It's forced, I understand. Uh, so uh, from the gaming side, the numbers are huge and it's exploding. Talk to me about the vision of growing the company going forward. Like, what are you looking for? Is it capital? Is it investors? Is it like, talk to me about that piece of things. So up until about now, we've been looking mainly for strategic partnerships, Mm -hmm. right? There's many vertices that can be launched concurrently, but all depends on choosing the right partners to do so. Mm. The company and, and its mission yeah. Just from my logic, well, the way I want, I think the most logical way to do it is, it's an invention, there's a technological transfer, there's mm-hmm. an information transfer that mm-hmm. needs to occur, all right? It's a big machine, Yeah. no matter what you want to do, it's holding a human, yep. it's a big machine. Yes. There's safety concerns, there's shipping concerns, there's service concerns, mm-hmm. there's... So, to me, the obvious path was go to the people. First yeah. and foremost, take the technology, get it as affordable as you can, mm-hmm. and give it to the tinkerers of the world, people like me. Yeah. There's lots of us, yeah. right? And let them help make it into what you envision it, right? Mm. So you grow a community from a, a grassroots type of event. So we've done everything we can to bring the price point Mm. down to where it, we can give it to people who are interested in mm. the technology to take it from here and make it into something really incredible and do that on a one-to-one. So it's B2C, right? So we're mm. going directly to our, our community and saying, look, come jump in, right? Mm. I'm not sure if this is the first time this has been done, yeah. right? But to take a technology of this nature 
And to bring it to the world in this way, I believe, is the fairest way to do it. Because mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're giving the technology a chance to, or people to grow your, on top of your technology mm. from day one, right? You yeah. don't really need, I mean, that's all licensing stuff, that I don't really yeah. worry too much about that at the moment. What I'm more concerned about is people getting to work with the technology, know it, understand it, mm. and then those guys actually spread out and become either in the future service members, service staff, distribution, mm. and sales, because people got friends, people got man caves, people, you set up a system, you're mm. gonna have 10 friends who are gonna want, and mm. that's you know a, a path, that's it's a sales channel in, mm. the, in the future, but it's also a service channel. It's mm -hmm. also a way for us to train globally people in the technology and the understanding and what's needed, by hands on, grab the first unit, put it in your house, learn how to play yeah. it, now you're trained. Yeah. Okay, then tomorrow it's like, okay guys, there's, look, my, my dream is to get to 100,000 tinkerers working with the system around mm. the world, all right? Mm. And those, that community working together to launch off the different vertices or different projects that they find, and it goes down to a lower level, mm. right? So we did, certain things, very specific decisions, like the motor controller being open source, mm -hmm. right? We're going to publish many of the design files that we have, mm. all right? Some of the software has to, for basic you know, safety reasons, be kept yeah. secure, but the majority of the core elements needed to build either a new system or your own server or another robot or whatever, all of those will mm. be on the open source basis but with a small little catch, which I think is an important method of future production mm. in this scale. In other words, you take a community of tinkerers, developers, and you find a way to get them to get their product or their idea out into the market. Mm. And China makes money, they make money, and the consumer is happy. Yeah. At the moment, what you have is Brilliant idea, published mm -hmm. on the open. China takes it, makes a lot of money, and you've got to donate here for the guys who made the idea. Yeah. Right? And that's something that I want, and I think we can change. And it just comes with hardware authenticity and being very decent to your customer, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are planning from now to release updates to your system, and maintain your system, maintain its ecosystem, maintain a, you know, a, a coherent, functional product. That means that every so many months you're going to be releasing software, right? Mm. So that's yours. Now, the only thing you need is to know that you're working on your hardware. That's it. Yeah. Nothing else. Because right? yeah. if you got that and you got that buttoned down, then what happens is if somebody does copy your hardware and try to imitate you, mm or then you don't let your future updates work on that hardware, that's all, right? Mm. Sorry, don't copy me. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise your stuff ain't gonna work, yeah. right? Yeah. I've done this a few times in my life, mm. right? I, 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 I've come up with seven or eight international, big, well, good selling products, right? Mm. That every single one of them got copied, mm. all right? The later copies, the guys who copied, mm. closed up shop. Yeah. Because we could authenticate ourselves and therefore we could update only ourselves. Mm. All right. And the people who went and bought the clones or the, the, yeah. ch the cheaper stuff were left out with no software or no updates and they yeah. didn't get the latest features and they've got upset and like, no, no, send it back. Mm. You send enough product back, nobody's making money, they mm. stop copying you. So this whole thing of China and, and copying and making more, yeah, it's solved. And mm. I'm confident with it. It's going to happen. They're going to copy. There's yes. going to be. But over time, people will figure out that don't buy non-original. It's <laughs> yeah. not worth it. And yeah. it's also a matter of being decent, right? You don't mm. price gouge. Just because you can find something cheap doesn't mean you can mark it up, mm. right? If you find it cheap, give a fair markup. You're handling it. You're doing services. You're doing this and that. And give it out to your customer. That avoids the motivation mm. by China 
to, you know how many people have come to me and said, oh, you can sell this for 100,000. Like, of course I can. Yes. I could sell it for a million, two mm -hmm. million. Mm -hmm. It outperforms a $12 million product yeah. Yeah. by four times. Wow. It is four times better than the latest advertised $12 million simulator by Ferrari. Mm. By specifications, mm. right? Actual specifications. Our outputs are four times better than this. Wow. <laughs> and we're selling it for three and a half thousand dollars. But it's because of the way we got there. And yeah. the mission was affordable, affordable, affordable. Yeah. And I fought tooth and nail to keep the costings down. Mm. We've negotiated with the factories, by the way. We've done work here on behalf of our future community, mm. knowing full well that this is a potential good path. Yeah. The other path right, is the traditional path, which is the investor path, mm. the go to the money, mm -hmm. in which case it's, it's, it's a viable and there's vertices that will go that path mm -hmm. by, by necessity. I feel that today, Corporate gets dictated to too much by money and mm -hmm. forgets the customer. So mm -hmm. one of my missions is to bring this and to be a customer-centric corporation. In other words, mm -hmm. focus on the customer, mm -hmm. bring good products to market, right? And service them via a community network, right? So yeah. use the community to leverage information right what do people want what and how do they want it done why is this that's what you want the community you want them engaged mm -hmm. and you want them feeding back to you so you are growing this company in the right direction and if there's a way in the future i'm not we we're discussing we've put it down to yeah. sorry i'm just thinking if there's a way in the future we're planning to bring this into a dao all right, so decentralized mm -hmm. autonomous organization mm -hmm. where the community is part of the DAO. So you, you, by buying one of our dev kits or products mm -hmm. in the future, you're automatically a member of that community, yeah. right? So that then gives you some voice in mm -hmm. how the company, um, what are we planning, what are we thinking now? Is it, if we use the DAO as a governance mm -hmm. of the corporate in the future, then money is not dictating. Yeah. All right. It's people and mm -hmm. what they want, and it's the, your users, right? So mm -hmm. you're engaging, and it's trying to bring the whole thing into a more closed and common-minded. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing I, I notice is that you know when you put people who have common interests together, mm -hmm. beautiful things happen. I mean, creativity comes yeah. from that, right? You yeah. see that. I see that. You put people with common minds together, and you get some amazing outputs. So, yeah, I'm trying to leverage that. I'm not saying no to corporate. I'm not saying no to investors. I'm being very strategic with who we choose to go with. Mm -hmm. I think that's more important. I think yeah. the gift of the invention of the idea is a gift. Mm -hmm. And it is a gift for all of humanity, not just for me or not just for the ones that are involved now. I believe this mm -hmm. idea has potential to change millions of people's of lives in a positive way. Mm -hmm. uh, there's stuff we've come across, yeah. discoveries that we've made in the last three months even, that are profound, they really are amazing, and, and validated through the AI and stuff like that. And yeah, once, yeah. once we get the, the hardware into people's hands, mm -hmm. I believe more discoveries will be made. And That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Well, well, I have to say, first off, this has been, a, Wonderful having you on the show today and, ha and having this dialogue and I'm excited to see the continued application and I can't wait to see this community built because one of my favorite things about doing this is bring this to our audience. I mean, you, you heard it first here and, and when we see this thing grow and as we see it even go further than some of the things I've already seen, amazing. So for everybody, for everybody at home, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't done it yet, don't forget, hit that subscribe or follow button. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're bringing you new content, new ideas, and hopefully new inspiration to help you along the way in your journey as well. So again, hit that subscribe or follow button. And Lewis, again, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much.